Hi everyone, this is Rella with Rella's Wonder Crafts. Today I will be showing you a tutorial on how to do a watermelon tumbler with alcohol inks. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. All right, so here we have a wine tumbler. This is Ozark brand that I did purchase from Walmart. Um, I went ahead and added the tape to this. This was when I first started on this, I did sand this with 120 uh, sandpaper grit. Then I did prime this with a white spray paint. So I did use white primer, Rust-Oleum to paint this white. Went ahead and added the painter's tape on each side. What we're aiming for for this watermelon tumbler, it will be one side will be the green, the other side will be the pink, and then where you see this tape, we're going to add some white acrylic paint right here. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the green side. As you can see, I took painter's tape, took it along the side, and down here on the bottom for a nice easy line, a division line. I did that to both sides. Um, I went ahead and did this one off camera because I can focus a little better and it takes me a little bit longer to line these up the way I want them to be. You just want to make sure that when you're lining them up, you have a nice swirl to them and make sure that you remember where you're starting off with the green. So you want that painter's tape as flat against the tumbler as you can get it and you'll want opposite sides. So where's this side that's flat on this one's going to be this side. So we want that clear crisp line for the green because when you're looking at a watermelon, it's, it's pretty much a sol solid line here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on it. I am using botanical So botanical, Kelly Green, and also Rose. I have another one here as well that is a pink slash rose. I will probably be using both of these to give us some texture. Okay, so. And I also have these little cups that I will be putting alcohol into. I do have 70% alcohol right now. I do not have 90% due to everything that's been going on with COVID-19. Haven't been able to pick up the 90% alcohol, which I do recommend. 70% works just as well. Um, it just takes a little extra blending for those. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. As you can see, this one does have a small dent in it. Um, when we picked up these tumblers, we did not notice the dent. So this one is going to just be for me. Um, I will probably make additional ones, but so you will see this. It doesn't affect the outcome of the tumbler too much. I did another one that was a Dr. Pepper tumbler. And honestly, by the time I got finished with it, you really couldn't even notice it, especially on the video that I took. No one even noticed I had a dent on that one. So not a big deal. If you watched my wood grain, tumbler tutorial. This is very similar to the wood grain. Let me go ahead and grab a, let's see. Oh, and let me go ahead and grab a paintbrush. Um, so if you have not watched my wood grain tumbler tutorial, all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to put some of this alcohol ink onto this tumbler and then I'm going to, well, paint it. Okay, so let's start with Botanical. And I did get the painter's stamp from Walmart as well. Okay, 
So let's start over in here. Add just a little bit of alcohol. And when you lift up the painter's tape, there is going to be a bit of the alcohol inks right underneath of it. That's okay because we'll be blending that in with the um, white. This is going to spread a bit. So essentially you see that I'm doing pretty much the same thing as I did with the wood grain tumbler. If you have seen that, if you have not seen it, I do have a video on how to do a wood grain tumbler. And the idea is to make it look like wood, which it is super popular with a lot of my uh, male customers, especially around Father's Day when wives and sisters and even husbands are looking for something for the, the special someone in their life. You can see I'm not doing anything special with this. Just going over it. I also have a cobalt green that I did think about using as well. I might go ahead and use that. I do want to see how this is going to come out first before I make that decision. I will probably go ahead and take this off and put it on the other side. So I get some pretty good lines going here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it on the other side. Okay, so I did end up adjusting it just a bit here, just so we can make sure we get that top coverage up there. So. Okay. 
I'll be doing this here for a while. Last time with my wood grain, I actually went off screen and did it. I'm going to stay on screen this time just so you guys can watch me. Okay, let's switch over to the Kelly Green.
going to try this cobalt green to see how it looks on here. So it is a darker color, a much darker color. I think I like it. So I'm kind of getting to that sweet pot. So I'm kind of getting to that sweet part at this point where I don't want to add too much more because I don't want to overdo it. Because I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks so far. I think it gives it that really nice watermelon brine look. See, I do want to add, I want to try to get this a little bit louder. So I want to add just a tiny bit of alcohol. See, there we go. And then I'm just using the side of the brush to do that right there. The more alcohol you add, the lighter it becomes. It spreads that, spreads that ink out. But I think I like the way it looks. So I think I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks so far. I think it looks very watermelon briny. <clears throat> I don't know if watermelon briny is quite the word for it, but I mean, that can be a word, right? Watermelon briny. Okay. So. I'm gonna pause this for just a moment, guys. Hold on. And I'm back. It's like I was never gone. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this tape. Okay, so I did get some of the ink. But that's okay. That one's pretty nice and oh, I did get some on, on it though. Um let me go grab a glove real quick. Glove is acquired. Okay. I'm gonna actually take my finger and try to get some of this off real quick. It's kinda got a viney look to it. Or not a viney, sorry, a veiny look right here. I kind of like it. It's 
So we're just gonna get some of that off of here. Okay. I'm gonna wipe some of that off. Just being gentle with it, because I don't wanna. I'm actually going to leave that there, this veiny part, because I like how that turned out. This side, do you use some TLC? So I'm just, I'm just dipping my finger into the alcohol and just rubbing a bit. A lot of that's going to be covered up with the acrylic paint anyways. So there's quite a bit down here. I just didn't push the tape down well enough, but I don't dislike it. I actually kind of like that. The same with this little viney look over here. I know I keep on saying viney, guys. This veiny, that vein, I like that as well. So, and plus it's a watermelon. Watermelons are not perfect, not every time. Everything is an art. Not everything has to be perfect with art. Okay. So I want to put it off really well. Okay. So I think I'm finished with the green for now. We're going to carry on with the pink. Oh boy. All right. Okay. So I have two different pinks here. I'm going to try this one first. The pink rose. I've got a piece of parchment paper. And parchment paper, pink, and cotton ball. And then we're just going to take this and start dabbing. Oh, it's such a pretty pink. So I love pink and green together. I think they are super pretty. I like green and I'm wearing green today. So this is probably going to take quite a bit of dabbing in pink. Um, something else to keep in mind, you're going to want to leave a space between the green and the pink over here. And we're doing that because on a watermelon, the watermelon has a white spot along the rind. And I want to put that there. Yep, thank you. You're welcome. You're a big
big help. You know that? You. You're the best mom. Well, you're the best daughter. I know. You know. Can you kind of use this right here? Wait. See how it's coming along so far. Well, Talking to the camera, sweetie. I'm just gonna keep on dabbing that pink until we are happy with how it looks. Hey, mom. Hey, baby. Why are you doing the camera on that? I'm trying to show anyone that wants to watch how to make these. I want to have, I want to talk to them. Well, you can jump in here and say hi. Okay. You say hi. Hi. <laughs> well, they can't see you. Well, they can see me. They can see me say. My name is Sister Raina, but I love you so much. You sweet ladies. My dad kind of wanted to play with me at the store, but he can't. Sorry. Well, I would talk to you. Well, Grandma told me that she was my friend. Well, I'll get my dad. I'm going to get my dad today, but I'll go get him. Daddy. So it looks like I did kind of mess up the bottom a little bit. But it's the bottom. No one's really going to see it. Why? What? I do want to check out this other color real quick and see what it looks like. This one, I think it's about the same color, but I just want to see. Looks like it's a little lighter. You see the color difference? So it's your preference how you like to have this colored rather it's not much of a difference very slight
So see right here, some alcohol got onto it um, when I was trying to clean it up. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then come back and fill it back in. All right, so I went ahead and I taped this side off along the green watermelon, the, along the green rind here. And I just dabbed acrylic paint with my cotton ball. I'll do the other side like that here in a minute just so you can see exactly what I did. So I'm still waiting on this to clear up here. Okay, I was able to go through and clear up that spot. Okay, so the next thing we'll want to do is to take some tape here, which I'm just going to use the same piece, and you want to line it up against the green. Because we will be painting that white acrylic onto the rind here. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, and you, I have my white acrylic paint right here. Just take cotton ball, and just like we did with the pink here, we're just going to dab. And I'm dabbing more along the lines of the blue, kind of like into the blue, because I don't want that white acrylic to go too much into the pink. And when I did this side, I did the same thing, taped off over here, taped off right here, and then just dab the white acrylic paint along and I went ahead and just did the bottom as well and brought it over here. So that's what the bottom looks like. And that's with the white acrylic. So I am going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I will probably go back through this section right here where you see the green. Go back through with probably a thin brush and just put some additional acrylic paint on this side to kind of clean up that space right there. And probably along right here too. Any place that you aren't happy with or you don't necessarily like, you can just take the white acrylic paint and just blend it together. Let me show you an example. Okay. I'll just have just a thin paintbrush. Let me take this. So, like right here, see, you just kind of clean it up as much as you want to. You don't even have to do this if you don't want to, you don't have to clean it up if you like the way 
that the alcohol looks after taking the tape off. You can keep it just like that. This is all your preference. I just like the clean, the clean lines. So I am going to go back through this whole thing, add additional white paint, clean it up as need be. And then I will add a layer of epoxy to this. Once I add the layer of epoxy to it, and this is just a base, after you lay, after you put the layer of epoxy on this, you can add glitter to it. You can have more alcohol ink if you want. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Once again, that's your preference. I will probably go through and add some glitter, glitter to mine, um, but I'm gonna kind of see how this dries up and turns out. So I got a little bit of alcohol or a little bit of glue right there, but that's not bad. All right, and there we are. There's just a few spots within the pink I'm also going to touch up as well. And this will be tomorrow once this has dried. I'll go through, touch up any alcohol because I will give the entire night to let this dry. So there won't be any trace of alcohol on it. And I'll go through and I'll clean up this a bit, cover up some of the white that still might be there. And then I'll add my epoxy to it whatever else I want to. So if you have any questions, feel free to just put those in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can find some more of my products on my Facebook group called Rella's Wondercrafts. It's where I sell a lot of my stuff at. Working on a website currently that should be up and running sometime here soon so you can just go straight to the website and order. And my husband also has a gaming channel called Dragarian's Door. Make sure you go check that out. And my children also have a YouTube channel as well called Wondercraft Kids. So you may have heard them in the background earlier. That might be cut out a little bit later, but um, you've seen one of my smaller ones during this. She is the littlest one. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Like I said, if you have any comments or any suggestions or any questions, leave those down in the comment section and I will go ahead and have everything in the description that I used for this. Alrighty, thanks guys.